My name is uh, Tom Elmo Clemente. I'm the Eugene W. Price Distinguished Professor of Biotechnology. I'm housed within a Department of Agronomy and Horticulture, and my primary responsibility on campus for the past 27 years has been overseeing one of the core research facilities, which is known as the Plant Transformation Core Research Facility. Clearly the most beneficial success and contributions our facility has made to the university since we've been here was a develop of a herbicide tolerance, dicamba tolerance, which is an effective weed management tool that's used in uh, soybeans and cotton production. Weeds are still a major impact on, uh, on yield and protection of yield. So it's still, of all the diseases out there, weeds are still out there and we need more chemistry. But what this allows, this technology allows us farmers to more another tool for their weed management strategies. And it currently resides on being used on 50 million acres of soybeans, 10 million acres of cotton. And this past year just started going in South America, primarily Brazil. Over the last probably past decade, we've been spending a lot of time, myself and uh, my colleague might here, uh, Dr. Ed Cahoon, who's the director of our Center for Plant Science Innovation, trying to develop a soybean-based feedstock for aquaculture. And that is merely adding the genetic variation so we can alter the oil profile to make it more look like fish oil. And then soybean already has the high quality protein. So then we can use that protein and the oil to displace fish meal, fish oil, and aquafeeds. And to this day, farm raised fish, which we're gonna to have to do more of, the aquafeed alone is 50% of the operating cost. And we feel if we can do it from 100% terrestrial based sources rather than marine sources, we could cut that cost significantly. Uh, what got me interested in the plant sciences was when I was in an undergrad institution at Indiana University of Pennsylvania. I took a plant physiology class and a botany class, and both of those triggered my, sparked my interest in, in uh, agriculture in general. New Tech helps the university get their innovations, be it for research, teaching, or extension, out of the academic environment and into the private sector, that translation out of there. And that's the most important thing. What we are is a public sector institution funded by taxpayer dollars, we're using those taxpayer dollars to come up with these innovations, which I like to refer to as a piece of coal. And NU Tech tries to get that, make sure there's protection of that innovation, and then see how they can translate it to the private sector. I, I want to thank everybody that came along with my group. It's just not just me. I, I build off of what everyone else has done. Uh, there have been a couple mentors here since I started when I came, first arrived in Nebraska, a guy named Paul Staswick and James Speck. They were very instrumental in helping me get me going, our facility going and on board. Uh, the, the Nebraska soybean producers, Nebraska wheat producers, Nebraska corn producers, interacting with them has been more, in, what I've learned about agriculture is more I could have ever done and just staying in an academic bubble.